Hi hey guys. Okay, my face looks a little different today. <laughs> I had my first microneedling treatment yesterday. And for those of you that don't know, microneedling is kind of like the thing in skincare right now. It is all about replenishing your collagen and decreasing your wrinkles and all about preventative maintenance. So I'm super excited to see how it turns out. But obviously, it's not okay today. <laughs> So you can see microneedling actually like it's the tip of it looks like a pen and the tip of it is about that big it has 36 small needles in it and it just goes in um, and kind of regenerates your skin layers but at the beginning obviously it's going to make it bleed and make it inflamed it was a little swollen right here and right here last night um, so I'm going to give our foundation a test I know I love our foundation it gives awesome coverage and it doesn't set into your wrinkles. Like I've got pretty deep set wrinkles on my forehead and it doesn't set into those like some of the full coverage foundations do. So that is one reason why I love our foundation, but I'm going to give it a try today um, to see if it can help with this situation because I'm gonna head into work for a little bit. So I'm gonna pull my hair up a little bit probably. There, get it out of my face. All right, let's see what we can do. The first thing I'm going to start with, um, I did our, um, right before I did, um, what did I do? I did, oh, I did serum uh, C, so vitamin C, and then I did climate control because climate control decreases redness. My husband has rosacea, really bad right here, and it has gotten rid of his rosacea. It's incredible. So I did climate control. You always need to put something on after you do climate control, so I did our daily, um, moisturizer I use normal to dry and that has an SPF in it too a mechanical shield no chemicals for um, that so this is color correcting tinted moisturizer I use medium so I'm just gonna put a dab of that on my hands and I'm gonna rub that in one thing my um, good friend Rebecca said she did the microneedling treatment um, oh, a couple months back and she said you know after she's never used Cinegen's products whenever after her microneedling treatments um she said other products have burned her skin um whenever they put them on so she was like i was like ooh, to get ready to put her foundation and uh tinted moisturizer on and she's like whenever i put the Cinegen's um color correcting tinted moisturizer and foundation on it did not burn at all and so i can see what she's saying because it's not burning and i mean even kind of the water on my face in the shower kind of burned a little bit so doesn't burn. This color correcting tinted moisturizer helps get, it evens your skin tone, but it helps get the red out. So looks okay, it's not full coverage, <laughs> but it's still better than what I started with. So there's the tinted moisturizer. And then I'm gonna do the advanced anti-aging foundation. I use Dewy, it's kind of my go-to color, um, but I mean there's, several colors to choose from. Anti-aging has more color options than um, than just the regular Make Sense foundation, but there's still a lot. And our, our uh, moisturizer is color correct for up to three shades darker and three shades lighter. So really there's not, there's not that many to choose from, which makes it easier to decide on one. So I use this brush. This is a Real Techniques brush. Expert Face Brush is the name of this, but I use the stippling technique to put on my foundation because it goes on so much better with the stipple technique and all the stippling is just kind of a dense brush you can see and you're just pushing the foundation into your skin it's a technique so I'm gonna do it on my eyes I usually don't but since I have that redness on there she got really good right here so the other thing that's awesome is that this has a mechanical shield in it for sunblock so there is no chemicals there are no chemicals in it but it's like a blanket that goes on your face um it's a mechanical shield so i don't have to put sunscreen on it's already it's in my foundation which is amazing i can put it on this side too gosh that's covering way better wow yay i was kind of scared to go into work today because you guys saw what i look like before <laughs> This is awesome. Wow. Okay. Yay. That looks good. 
that redness is only supposed to stay there for a couple days. Um, so that's good, but it could, she said about two days and then the dryness can be like two days after that. And then it's really when your skin starts to glow and you'll see it transform. It also helps with scarring. If any of you guys have scarring from acne or any kind of scars, um, the microneedling is supposed to help with the scarring. Wow. Okay. Super impressed with the foundation. This is our blush, blush scents. I use Toasted Rose and Pouty Pink, and I put those in together. You don't need very much. Whoop, that's a little bit. You don't need very much at all. And I love a cream blush, and I'll tell you why. Whenever you turn, mine was about 35 when I turned 35. My skin just started to get more dry. I wasn't the best about washing it at night. I'm still not the best either, but I try. Um, but cream blush will actually make your face and cream foundation because I wasn't using, I was using Max Studio Fix. It will actually make your um, skin healthier because you're actually hydrating your skin during the day while you're wearing your makeup. That looks good. Not doing too much. It kind of looks like what it normally looks like during the day. Like I'm not, I can't see any part of it. This is our bronzer, love our bronzer. So um, this is called dust or bronze dust. It's kind of hard to learn how to use it and apply it, but you can see, I don't know if you can see it. You can see the powder when it evaporates. So I'll put a little bit of bronzer on. Ah. All right. And I like to set it in too. Just with that stippling technique again. Okay. Eyes. Super excited. Okay. What? I get so excited to use my makeup every day. Is anybody else like that? Or is that just me being a dork? Oh, that's my, my mocha job. That one's almost gone. Um, I get so excited to use makeup every day. Okay. So this is Mocha Java. This is their shadow scents. I use their shadow scents for my eyebrows. Um, I'm big on eyebrows. I know I've said that before. They have this. It's called Brow Sense. It's very thin. You can see it. It's very thin. I do not love the way that that goes on. So I was like, I'm going to try their eyeshadows for my eyelash or eyebrows. And I love it. Stays on all day long. And what's great is I can use the same product for like three different things. You can contour with this. If you want me to, I can, I can contour with this. I contour with it, I do my eyebrows, and I do my crease of my eyelid. So I'm all about getting the most use out of a single product, which means saving money. And I'm a big saver, so I'm a deal girl. I like to get good deals. And then this brush that I use is an e.l.f. brush. I think it was three bucks at Walmart, but it's just an angled brush. Is it e.l.f.? Ang small angled brush is the name of it and that's what I use for my eyebrows okay yay eyebrows okay I'll leave this out and then I go back with just your eyebrow brush and I'll brush over it what am I gonna use for oh I didn't bring any lip scents up here to do my lips hello Oopsies. This is um, Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. So this is, again, their Shadow Sense. This is just a really good neutral, uh, but it has a shimmer in it. So I'm going to do that as my base. And this will not crease. It will not crease, you guys. That's the awesome part about their eyeshadows. Well, another awesome part is that it will stay on all day long. Like, I can go out tonight and not have to do anything. That's what I love about it. Okay, so I'm going to use the same Mocha Java that I use for my eye. Um, a little bit much. You do not need hardly any, as you can see. I put a little bit too much over there. That I use for my eyebrows right here. There. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even feel like that redness is there at all. If I'm looking in the mirror behind me. I look like I do every day. You could kind of see a tiny bit of it right there, but tiny. I don't know if you guys can even see it. 
It's amazing. It's like I knew it would do it, but I wanted to test it just to see because it's so good. Okay. There's eyes. Oh no, where's my... I don't know where my eyeliner brush is. I'll just use this as one. So this is that same brush. Usually I have a small angled liner brush that I use for my um, eyeliner, but I'll just use this brush again today. This is Onyx. And Onyx is their um, black shadow sense. What's wrong? What's wrong with Georgie? My doggie's whimpering. Yay. And it will not move. That's the other part I love about it. I don't like applying it as much with this brush. I like applying it with the, it's like really thin. Again, it's from Walmart. It was three bucks. It's e.l.f. But I don't know why it's not in my... I have to concentrate when I do my eyeliner. If you want it darker, it's a black, obviously, but if you want it darker, you just need to go over it again, but I didn't want it too dark today. Yay. So if you wanted a bolder look, you just need to keep going over it. Why do I have to concentrate on my eyes? It's hard to talk into my eyes. Yay, okay. This is good too for um, sports, putting the lines underneath their eyes for baseball, football, Halloween, <laughs> any of those things. Um, it just does not sweat off, does not come off at all. I'm gonna quickly do my eye. Lashes. Oh, I was gonna show you how to contour. Do I have my bright brush? I don't have the right brush that I use for contouring, but I'll show you anyway. We'll use a different brush. So that same Mocha Java, yeah, that I used um, for my eyebrows, for my crease, you can do one little dab right there and there. I don't want to do my nose, but if you want to make your nose smaller, you can contour there, you can contour here. Um, I guess I'll just use my stipple brush again. And always when you contour go, you need to not go any further than about right here at the edge of your eye and you want to brush backward. Okay. It just gives a good definition to your brow, or brows, to your cheeks and your face more than anything. It gives a dimension. There you go. So that's, you can contour with that color too, which is great. Okay, I, where is it? One more thing for my eyes, mascara. This is their, um, what's it called, Lash Sense. It does not come off. So I will wear it on days when I know I'm gonna cry, which is like every day, because I'm just an emotional person. So, oh, shoot. If you catch it quick enough, you can get it. So, when my sister was, the day that the birth mom was giving birth to, um, for my sister's adoption for my niece, I got some on the lid. I knew that this stuff would not come off. So I put it on that day too, because I was like, I'm gonna be crying so much that day. But it's harder to get off at night because it's really, really waterproof. So pool days, I have to have this for pool days. It's the first mascara that's been waterproof that really holds to the waterproofness for me that I've tried. And they have under sense, which is like an eyelash primer that I love. It's kind of one of those things that I kind of hold out for until I'm going somewhere or doing something nice because I want to um, I'm going to go put my lip sense on for the day and then I'm going to head to work. Well, I have to run a couple errands with the kids and then I'm going to head to work in a little bit. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. See ya.